Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play. Today I'm starting Blank Dream. I know a lot of people have already played this before. I personally have been really excited about it. I've heard it's like almost parallel to The Witch's House, which The Witch's House was an amazing game and I had a lot of fun playing it. Apparently this is on par with that from what I've heard and what I've seen other people playing. But of course I didn't get to really watch too much gameplay footage or anything like that because it would ruin my experience and then you guys won't get genuine freakouts or anything like that. So. I know a little bit about it, but I don't know a ton about the plot or anything like that. I'm just going to dive into it and maybe you guys can fill me in on what's happening here. Okay, thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse. Without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. And so... I, Mishiro Usui, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. So I'm guessing that's not you falling into the lake, because that was a very tiny drop of water. Where is this? What was I just... Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. I can move. Okay, so we got save thingies. I'm guessing since people said it's like the witch's house, like there's a lot of trap things and deaths. But I'm gonna let the game play itself out and let me kind of learn about it here. Okay, the mirror shows no reflection. Okay. Oh! Well, maybe it's just a delayed mirror. Maybe it just, you know, doesn't register that you're standing there, and by the time it did. Oh, hi. Now it does. Now it shows my reflection just fine. The girl sees herself in the mirror. Sure, because talking to yourself in the mirror is always a great thing. <laughs> Hello, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories. Right. Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now, look into the eyes of your reflection. Okay, is is my reflection going to show who I am inside? Is that what we're doing right now? Because, I mean, I'm all about Mulan references. I don't care how old they are. A film familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Closet is packed with clothes, with black clothes, with frills. The girl felt like she'd like to wear clothes like this. Okay, the cabinet is full of accessories. The girl felt they all matched her tastes. So I'm guessing this is her room? A bear! A teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that the bear was very important to her. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. I would love to sleep there. A familiar dresser. The girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. Okay. School bag rests on the desk. The girl took out a notebook from it. Uh, Kikunomiya Academy Class 1-2. Mishiro Usui. Her picture is on the cover. So now we know her name. A familiar computer. The girl unconsciously went to power it on, but stopped. Why, do you not like the internet? Should we leave? It won't open. Try it again. Okay, fine. It's not one of those you can just break out of, huh? What do you want me to do? Cabinet. I already looked at everything, I think. The closet. A small knife is in the desk drawer. It felt familiar in the girl's hands. The girl got a knife. Can we can we jimmy our way out of here now? Items. Knife. Stab. St what? Stab the knife into yourself? No. Um. Okay. Am I supposed to stab the bear? No, it only lets me stab it into my... A smallish knife, why not try it out? Yeah, why not just stab it into your abdomen? Your stabdomen. And just bleed out. Why is this an option? Sure, let's see if I get a game over. The girl plunged the knife into her throat. She didn't even go for the chest. She went straight for her throat. Oh. Game over. Right? Good lord. That's actually a really cool effect. 
I mean, that was actually really cool. Oh, we broke the mirror. The girl came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there is no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back. How did it feel? Killing yourself in the mirror. What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on. I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Uh. Mishiro Usui, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See? Only partial. But you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world and break them. All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And how you see, uh, and you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors? You'll get back your memories, and at the same time, grant your wish. Once you break all the mirrors, you'll have it all back, and you can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what granting your wish entails. Why is that, you ask? Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never even ex existed. If I could read, it would help too. Just as Mishido regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Okay. Oh, hi, door. Cool. So, I guess we go in here now? Okay, so I... Is the goal you're supposed to go through and find all the mirrors and break them? Oh, hi! Where is this? Huh? Are you new here? Maybe? Whoa! I picked one heck of a moment to be here! Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I'm getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. No, I can. I'm Mishido. Oh, that's very polite of- Wait, you do know your name? That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember my name. Why would I be mean to her? This is known as the mirror world. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and afterlife. Maybe. I just found myself here one day. So I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes? But the weird thing is, while well, I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't actually remember that wish. You have any ideas, Mishido? I don't remember my wish. Oh yeah, I do, to never have existed. What? You remember your wish? And you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishido. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair, even in death. Well, anyway, if you're going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here. Because they'd be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish. No doubt. Okay. Sure. This music's really nice. When I remembered my name, I saw a mirror. It wasn't so long ago. I don't remember too well. Uh, but I'm sure those mirrors are input important into this world. That's why they're called the mirror world. True. So would I just go wherever? Realm of spirits on the wind sounds tragedies end and beginning. Something on this pillar. Okay. Realm of beauty. For whom does the brush dance? Bronze door is locked. Okay. Realm of greenery. Let that meeting be a light of hope. Oh, there's a door here. Oh. Oh. Decorative axis, take one? Decorative shield. Decorative swords. Okay, so I can take the axes. Sure. Mishido unfastened the latch and took a fake axe. Got a decorative axe. Oh! Okay. Why did you bleed? The decorative shield is smashed. Well, I figured since it let me take one. Like, if it's gonna let me take each one, then I was gonna wait, but now that I can take this, I 
feel like I should, although, yeah, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so I saved. There's a door there. I don't know if I wanna go into it yet. Can I go into it? I can. Okay, let's wait. Let me explore here first. There's another door here. The bronze door is locked. Okay. Can I run? Oh, I can. Sweet. Oh, this looks safe and happy. Oh, it's a bear. Hi, bear. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. As long as you don't murder me. Oh, wow. This is really, like, ominous. I'm kind of regretting playing this right now. A weak flame flickers in the lantern. Sure. Mishido carefully remove the lantern. Now I got a lantern. The fireplace quietly, quietly lights up the room. Okay, is the lantern like? Oh! Mishido heard the fireplace go out. The room was swallowed by darkness. Oh god. Bear? What's this? What is that? Is there a bear in here? Like, did that bear freaking. Oh! 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 You're gonna assume you're not friendly? I need to get out of here. This isn't the way to get out of here. I am already like sweating like a madman. Oh! I saw you! I saw you little creepy figure person! Alright, save, save, save. Alright, I'm trying to save in like different areas too because I'm not sure what exactly I need to have and stuff. Or if there's different endings, anything like that, I have no idea. But now I have a lantern and I have an axe. A dead tree. Not fit to use, a light source. Should I, can I light it on fire? If it were set on fire, it would just go up in flames. Well, that's usually how it works. Okay, so there's one more room that I could enter, which is up here. So what's this? Oh, there's blood here. Oh, there's blood here. Right, you know what, I just saved, forget it. The watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. He Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? Why is there blood there, though? What? The stone statue quietly looms. The box is full of axes. For oh, okay, okay. So take one. Mishido reached into the box and took an axe. Okay, but now I need to put a decorative axe. Ah, okay. Put the de decorative axe into the box. And then I, I bet you that thing kills you or something if you do it wrong. Oh. Okay. Cool. How many save slots do I get? Because I'm probably going to use them all. I have a bad habit of using them all, actually. I get so panicky. But it helps when I have to go through. Like, if a game has a true ending, I can pick the save file where, like, the story branches off and I can do it that way. So it's a good idea to do it. Mishino fumbled with the axe in an attempt to fell the dead tree. Don't stab yourself. Don't do that. That didn't sound like a tree going down. I got firewood. The axis blade broke, rendering it useless. It's bleeding! What used to be a dead tree. Oh! God dang it. Okay, am I supposed to go back in here and light the fireplace? I wonder. Bear? Are you I don't I don't even want to know if you're there, to be honest with you, Bear. Okay. Just freaking... I, I don't know if I'm doing... Oh! Okay. Uh, I hate the jump scares. This is why I don't play a bunch of scary games, but... These are kind of that in-between. Where it's like, they're, they're creepy and scary, but just enough that I can manage. Okay, so can I put... Firewood in there? No. I came in here for no reason. God dang it. I don't think there's a reason to be here. I really don't. Oh, uh, I probably made a dumb mistake. Where am I supposed to put the firewood then? Hmm. Why Why are you just putting dots there? Okay, never mind. I don't want to know. I just want out. I just want out of here. Thank you so much. Whew. So should I get out of here? Is there somewhere the firewood can be used? Cool doors locked, okay. Realm of Death. 
That's a nice little realm. Realm of love. It looks like all the other doors are locked. Like, I feel like... Yeah. Do you have anything to say? Okay. Can I go in there? It seems unopenable to the point that it would be mistaken for an oddly designed wall. Alright, so there's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be a reason why I can... Freaking... Light something. Can I light it? Ledger's flame could burn it down, but the fire is weak. Okay, so firewood. Mishino placed the firewood by the tree, then lit it with the lantern's flame. Okay. So you have to finish each world before you can go to the next one. That's actually... I'm okay with that. Are you gonna explode into, like, blood and guts? The tree burned fiercely. Cool. And now you're gone. The tree was burnt down to ashes. Can we keep the ashes? No. Okay, progress is being made. I will get this done somehow. What's behind this door? Oh, I can save here too. Cool. I, I really do want to know, are there like infinite 20? Okay, 20 is good. Infinite would be nice, but there's not really any games that do that. Okay, the mirror shows me shows reflection. So the goal is to kill myself. Six months ago, Mirror Lake. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed, more or less. Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumor. Mirror Lake, a, des a lake in a desolate park, about a 25 minute train ride from home. There's an old rumor about it. It was said, hey, nice weather, huh? I'm talking to you. No one else here, is there? Who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. But I noticed you're staying at the lake with that hollow look. There's always a chance, so I thought I'd call out to you. That's unnecessary. I'm not gonna jump in or anything. That's good to hear. But there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just see it being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm gonna talk to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinohara. I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to flirt. Why tell me your name? Are you flirting? I said I'm not. Introductions are a first step to breaking down barriers. So, what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I'm gonna just prop my little, uh, <laughs> What is that? Uh, ah, oh crap, I'm forgetting the word, where, like, you do the sketches and stuff. Alright, so you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was- oh, an easel, that's right. Did you think I was carrying around this clunky easel for show? Not really. Oh, well. If you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. If you're not here to kill yourself, you want to hang out? <clears throat> I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Any items which Mishido has in the present, she does not have in the past, and thus cannot see. Okay. What's this? Rental boats. It's just a sign. Mishido occasionally saw people on boats. Am I supposed to talk to you? I have a little bit of a connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. That's nice. Somebody teleported me here. I got transported. Um... And I just jump in. Ayato is focused on his painting and isn't looking at Mishido. No, I'm not gonna jump in. Let's go over here. Oh, I can't. So, there's only Ayato's canvas, there's nothing on it yet. So, the only thing I can do is jump in, right? Is it gonna try and save me? I'm, I'm just gonna go swim real quick. It's okay, I'm not trying to kill myself. Surely it'd be painful. Why would it be painful? Why is my voice going out? <laughs> okay. 
Why would it be painful though? I thought drowning uh, is supposed to be like one of the most peaceful ways to go. From what I've heard. I haven't done it myself. That'd be weird. Anyways. Mishido threw herself into Mirror Lake. This fire shoots out from underneath it. God, with that sound! I need to turn down my volume. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Mishido came too, again standing before the mirror. Though she felt le uh, lake water in her nose, her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yes, I met Ayato on Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little more about myself. Just as Mishido regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. See, I'm wondering, am I supposed to find all the pieces? Ooh, shiny. Oh, I got a bronze key. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and save, because I think there's a bronze uh, door in this world too, so I may not be done with this area. But I'll go ahead and save this episode right here, and then we will continue on in the next video. So far, it's pretty cool. I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen. Um, I feel like there's gonna be two different outcomes, I'm guessing, because like... Every time you break a mirror, you're losing a piece of yourself. So either that's just a, a plot thing, or like maybe it's an optional thing and you can like get different endings. It'd be cool if I had different endings. I'll try to get as many of them as I can. But anyways, that is as far as I'm going to go for Blank Dream for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Yes, stab it. This might be bad. Oh, hello, lovely little eyes pitch black in there. I can feel a cold breeze coming from inside. Is this the exit? Oh! Um. What? <laughs>